what is up everyone Northjet here and I did some more crafting for you and as I said I pasted it out so you if you want to see my previous videos about master new masterworks that are coming currently halted you can check my uh, video list and you can see the gear the weapons etc so in this video I'm going to show you the new potions buff potions for ratings we're going to jump into my inventory and we are going to like compare them and see what stacks with what what negates what etc this is a copy of my tune unbuffed totally unbuffed without anything not even a forger box and you can see that i'm item level 60,094 and you can see my power ratings we all know well majority of us the newer players maybe may not know this this can all be manipulated and the ratings and the percentages have to be divided but ratings needs to be in your in tune with your actual total, total item level to be fully effective plus with manipulation of companions companion gear and mount insignias you can get these ratings however not everybody has that gear the new gear the mythic insignias and not cannot afford everything so i wanted to check these potions out so i crafted them this morning and i'm going to show you now what happens when i activate the potions and other buffs and i will show you what it takes to make these potions in the second part of the video so let's go we're going to first activate my awakening forger box now we're going to start with the showcase of the crafted potion of accuracy rank 13 plus one as you can see grants you 5100 additional accuracy for 3600 seconds these persist through that so if you die you're dead but the potion remains which is not the case for example with watermelon sorbet same goes for flask of potency rank 3 and same goes for valsom elixir i also prepare stronghold food as you can see here that grants accuracy ratatouille and prime rib that gives power and maximum hit points so i'm going to tell you there are one two three four five potions so we got defense deflect critical strike power and accuracy so when i activate my accuracy and go to my sheet you can see that my accuracy is now over capped now this if i use ratatouille will go even further so we got two stacks now and you can see here in my buff bar which i will be showing you crafted potion sauteed pay attention to long duration buffs so these two actually stack now what happens when i use flask of potency i will lose that buff if i use wildstorm elixir and potion of accuracy and saute you can see my accuracy and critical strike are working the main issue here is that the flask of potency will not work these are plus ones of course and this is a non plus one that will give you 4500 ratings for 3600 seconds and it will persist through that now we're going to switch to power craft a portion of power however power is really easy to cap with these bracers also what you can use so let's check it out now now we are close to 60,000 as you can see here as much as we can critical strike combat advantage is being capped by my insignia bonus and but accuracy is low henceforth i cannot use over penetration keep that in mind this can be manipulated in many ways through artifacts through to many many other stuff but i think that 5100 is really really a lot and it will help me so let me demonstrate what happens when i use them and here we go we can check my buff bar again now since we don't need sate we're going to use power as you can see and we're going to go to the stronghold dummy really quick and i'm going to show you what i mean and here we go this is technically what you want uh critical severity is uh, quite low I am still working on that however as you can see this is how I cap my combat advantage critical strike power accuracy much power is really really high now we're going to switch to the workshop on my masterwork account I will, I will show you what it costs 
and what reagents are needed for this really really quick so see you soon there and here we are in the workshop we're going to go through this really really fast master of Sharandar, and you can see here we got crafted potion of accuracy critical strike defense deflect and power if it's normal not plus one as i said five thousand additional accuracy even though the plus one is giving 5100 so this is still not finished however as you can see for the critical strike is for 4500 for the defense we got 4500 etc so what you're going to need for each and every one of these for, for example accuracy is 12 weeping wheel of tears that comes from the maps for the Sharandar. Shadow of Demon Eyes also. Alkali comes from the Stronghold Vendor. And Sugar Beet in this case comes really cheap for a couple of uh, copper from any vendor, profession vendor in the Protector's Enclave or if you have VIP and you can get it. Everything stays the same. Alkali, Shadow of Demon Eyes, Weeping Willow Tears. Now we got Aberrant Blood also cheap. Aberrant Bond also cheap and deflect chamomile and last but not least power beast horn however you will need 12 weeping wheel of tears but you will get 12 crafted potions so we, what we're going to do and what i'm doing actually is i'm using hermit, hermit medicinal tea plus one which gives me plus, uh, 150 focus which is 52 percent chance that i will get plus one crafted potion of accuracy so let's try to craft it and you can see I got it, but it's not plus one. So we're going to try one more time. And another. And there we go. So that's that's pretty much it. Regarding the her Hermit Medicinal Tea, you will need Shadow Demon Eyes, Heart and Blight Bark, Shade Leaves, Honey, Weeping Wheel of Tears, and a bunch of other stuff in order to craft this one and even get a plus one. So that is, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And Northside is out. Shout out to my channel members. Be safe and stay healthy.